So the next piece of equipment that we're going to set up is our wire strippers. Um, you've got a whole bunch of wires in your kit and when you look at the wire um, you can see that it's got different colors uh, of wire and it's not really the colors of the wire, it's the color of the insulation. Uh, inside the wire is always uh, kind of a silver coppery color. Okay. Uh, we need to take the insulation off so that we can make a good electrical contact. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set up your wire strippers so that every time you try to strip a wire you don't cut the end off. Okay, so I took the wire strippers out of the package and you can see that it's spring-loaded. And uh, when it closes, okay, so that's a uh, little diamond in the center there is where the wire goes through and it closes around the wire and we just pull the insulation off. The problem is as you close these things they get tighter and tighter and tighter and they close right up and there's uh, it just it just cuts the wire. So what we have on here is a screw and a nut. So if you take a small flat bladed screwdriver and you just loosen it you can see that you can move the uh, screw in the nut back and forth and as you move it forward now if you try to close them you can see that the screw in the nut stops these things from fully closing and cutting your wire off so you need to adjust this uh, screw and nut so that it just closes around the wire but cuts into the insulation so if the hole's too big You'll close it around the wire, you'll pull it off, okay, and it won't pull any insulation off. So you've got to close it just enough so that it touches the wire without nicking it. So the best way to do this is to, uh, what I do is I just slowly bring it together around the wire. Don't, you know, don't try and close it all the way up, just close it up a little bit until you can pull some of the insulation off the wire. Okay, so there's our uh, piece of stripped wire. I'm just going to cut the end off because there's a little burr on the end of there that I don't want. So this is about the length that you want to strip a piece of wire. And what we want to do is set up this uh, nut and screw so that when these close the wire slides through here easily, but we don't want the wire and the insulation sliding through. We just want the wire to slide through. So just close them up until you can just feel the wire. Okay, and that is the position for the screw. So slide it up, and that's where you can tighten your screw up, right at that position. Now everybody's might be a little bit different, and you might have to readjust it several times. Okay, but you can see that when you close it, I can see just a little hole right in the center there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my wire in here. I'm going to close it up and just make sure that the wire just slides back and forth without being scraped by the cutter. Okay. So now when you take a piece of wire with the insulation on it you should be able to bring it in and close and notice how it holds the wire because it's actually dug into the insulation and then just hold onto your piece of wire firmly and then push away with your wire stripper and you can see that makes a nice clean cut on your insulation and it doesn't nick the wire Okay, if you nick the wire what's going to happen is it's going to cause a weak point there and as you bend these wires back and forth where is it going to break at the weak point okay so it's very important that when you adjust these wire strippers you adjust it so that the wire when it fits in there can slide back and forth fairly easily okay because if you nick the wire you make a weak point and then the wire breaks Okay. So as you can guess, it takes a little bit of time to set up your wire strippers and strip wires. But you can see that in my box here, I have a compartment just full of pre-stripped wires. So one day all I did was sit down and uh, pre-strip all my wires 
and I've got different lengths. I've got short ones, I've got long ones. Okay, so this one's a little bit longer and a different color. That way when I wire up a circuit, all I have to do is go into my bin and get a uh, piece of stripped wire. 